Digital cinema refers to the use of digital, digital technology to distribute and project motion pictures. For example, using a digital projector used instead of a conventional film projector. Traditional methods um, involved uh, printing the reels and transporting them using lorries. However, there are some uh, advantages uh, which are clear in modern methods. Films could be distributed more effectively um, uh, as there was no need to physically print out and transport the reels of the films. A single print could cost around £600, making it extremely expensive uh, for wild cell release. Improved quality uh, was evident as films could be distributed digitally and would not be scratched. Plus, they could uh, provide high resolution images. Uh, films could be traded in after a full scale release um, to the distributor after, after a full run. Films are also more durable as they are less likely to be damaged. Convergence was also present as digital cameras provide the ability to show alternate content such as sport. Uh, films could also be, also be archived, storing and maintaining 35mm film reels uh, is costly, so conversely storing uh, digital requires less effort. However, there were some disadvantages. The initial cost, cost for um, converting cinemas was high, up to 75,000 per screen or more. Uh, they were also reluctant to switch uh, without a cost sharing arrangement with film distributors. Uh, uh, playback system could also um, cost around three to four times as much. In, also, computer-based systems have a lifetime of around five to ten years in comparison to the longevity of traditional methods. These additional costs uh, may be passed on to the consumer, resulting in higher admission fees. To combat all these disadvantages, uh, the UK Film Screen uh, Network uh, was established in 2005, designed to encourage to switch to digital in the, new, in the UK. Uh, they, they funded around 13 million um, uh, for the cinemas in the UK.